what's up youtube welcome to your video uh, so uh, today we are talking about uh, how we can uh, read write and update and delete data uh, inside a firebase uh, database but we are talking about the latest version uh, 9.0 or 9.1.0 uh, so uh, it, this video has been requested so many times so finally it is here so uh, we will start from the basics and search firebase then go to firebase console and uh, you have to be logged in into your google account you can add a project name your project we don't need the analytics continue now add a web app and name it uh, uh, anything like my fire data register app continue to console now let's ready our page so I will write some code for the labels and the inputs name and input I will call it name box and for this last one let's go with the select so the roll box the sag box and the gen box now I will uh, declare some style and I will make their displays as inline block for the purpose that I want to declare their heights so 80 80 pixels I also need four buttons so before that a horizontal line and now we need the firebase configuration so go to the project settings and now get inside the CDN and copy all of these paste it here and this is our imports and configuration section now for some important points this type module is necessary for this import statement to work and this uh, uh, import will have a scope of this entire script so outside of the script these import statement won't work we need to import some more functions so import get database So we need to get all of these from copy this and just change the Firebase app to Firebase database. Now our configuration is uh, almost complete. We need another thing which is a constant db equals to get database now we need to get some references so name box document dot get element by id and name box So all of my references are ready. Now I can uh, start creating my functions to add the data to the Firebase. So the insert data function. Now I will use the set function that I got from the library of Firebase database. So set now another function ref inside it and it will take two argument 
first is the DB and the second is the address that we the second is the address that we want to have so I want to have a uh, students folder named the students and inside that save the students with their role number so role uh, roll box dot value now inside the body I will write now inside the body first I will write the field names so name of std name of the student this field will store the name box dot value then there will be another field named role number that will store the value inside the role box so role box dot value store the value of the gender box so currently selected option then I can go ahead and create a then promise to uh, make sure that my data is stored successfully and then uh, an arrow function which will say that data stored successfully if that doesn't happen then catch the error and we have the option to show the error to the user or not in my case I will show the error then I can close this a set function I will also have a section for assigning the events to the button so insert button dot add event listener this is the best way to assign events I will say that uh, I want to assign the click event when uh, this button is clicked run the insert data function now uh, we can test this out so it doesn't look like uh, as I expected I will come here and put some BRs over here and both the input and select will have a width of uh, 120 pixels now let's come down here I notice uh, a mistake this should be small so now let us test this out now before inserting the data it is also necessary to come here click on the uh, real time database and create a database so us central next let's start in test mode now we can use our database so let me write a name a role number and a section then press insert data stored successfully and here you can see there is a the students folder and uh, a role number uh, folder and all of the uh, information of a student now for the rest of the functions now uh, let's create a, a function for selecting the data and uh, it will have a constant name uh, dbref which will be equals to reference of the db then the getter function so get and inside that a child function which will take the reference take the db reference and the address where uh, it needs to fetch the data so 
this is the address dot then snapshot and here I must declare a arrow function and inside the body I will say if the snapshot dot exist so basically we are providing it uh, with the reference of the database then we are saying that get the information of this particular student that's why we are using the child method and uh, this snapshot will have the information of this student so inside this arrow function i'm checking that if this uh, snapshot exists so if this record exists and inside this uh, i can say name box dot value so inside my name box i want the value of the snapshot dot well and then the exact exact name of the field that i stored my data inside so this time i'm doing it in reverse i'm getting the data from firebase and then putting it in my name box and other boxes so i'm not putting uh, uh, so i'm not putting data inside the roll number box because i will use it to select my data and i will also also provide the else condition that it will show no data found if this doesn't work if there is some error it can show the error as well so inside the catch i will say i will create an arrow function with with an argument of error the above alert statement will work let's try to get the uh, uh, details of roll number 13 I'm getting nothing let me inspect so if you are uh, getting this type of error just inspect and go to console it will tell you the uh, error so get is not defined so maybe I uh, I forgot to uh, import the get so here I I did forgot to import the get so the get uh, function and let me check this this should be exist and there is this problem also the problem over here the section t box should get the value of section now it looks great refresh now i should get the details of roll number 13 so the details are correct function update data and it will contain it will be the same as the set function instead of set I will use update and I will not update the roll number because it's a it's the primary value that I'm saving upon my folders name now for the now for the delete function I can just copy this change this to remove and I don't need all of this information removed successfully and updated successfully D 
delete data so all things are set now I just need to add the events listener now I can test my application refresh let's uh, put a record so amazing code verse of uh, roll number 16 section a insert data uh, stored successfully let me delete this student so data removed successfully now I should get the details of roll number 13 so the details are correct and let me update this I can say tech v2 and uh, roll number a and female update then I refresh now when I get the uh, details of roll number 13 I get the updated details so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time